sorry, big boy. You never had an opportunity to become a big boy. Jane animations be like, oh, guys? <laughs> yes, ghost. It do be like that. With Jaden. Okay. Eh, whatever. Let's just get to the video. <laughs>
secret organization called Cypher bust into the lab, beat everyone up, steal Professor Crane, show off their shadow Pokemon, and run off to their secret base to never be seen again. Well, I'll be. The lab is in shambles. Well, I'll not be. What to do, but then decides they're going to complete their purification chamber in his honor because shadow Pokemon are back and they want to hmm. do something about it. Okay. They send me off to this seaside town Gadion port to retrieve a machine part they need. And Joby pesters our mom to come with because Joby doesn't think I can handle going out on my own. And Joby needs to hold my hand and guide her. <laughs> She's the whole just like. Okay. Oh. Not only does this little snot talk in third person for no reason, maybe our mom didn't care enough to get us any education. Perhaps wow. She was worried the teacher would give us a compliment, heaven forbid. Probably. She's also the most annoying character I've ever witnessed in any media. <laughs> oh my god. An episode of My Hero Academia with a great kid in it. We go to Gadion Port. I still have not seen My Hero. I actually Joby really want to check it out at some point. Random guy, Zoop, who happens to be the buffest man in the world. Okay. Hunter, oh god. <laughs> She's like, uh, okay. Nom. Step in and obliterate his shadow Damn. Damn. Old man, I was about to be free of everything that is bad in my life, and you took that away from me. <laughs> Get the part, head back, and mom tells me about this spot in Agate Village called the Relic Stone, where you can naturally purify Pokemon. Pikachu. I don't know why you're making your own purifying chamber then? I can't with the I'm arm. <laughs> And this very enthusiastic man with a Pikachu shows me the stone, and I'm like, cool. Yeah, so cool. Like, By the way, my friend Vander might know where Cypher took Crane. Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. I <laughs> okay. Him, points to this random spot in the desert on my map, and is like, oh, they're right here. I saw them. Hmm. What? What are you doing out there? Yeah, That's really? Just Why? Sand. <laughs> well, would you look at that? A headquarters. <laughs> I start infiltrating okay. the base, battling all the grunts that fall from the ceiling, snagging any shadow Pokemon I find, <laughs> until I reach Pink Hatsune Miku, who's trying to get information wow. out of Crane about purifying shadow Pokemon. I battle her and win, which my God, kidnap him, and while I'm <laughs> this these are on the ground. <sighs> Did a wrong. This seems very important, and like it has a lot of secret information. Original about OC, do not steal. Epic Cypher secrets. Returns to the lab and everyone's happy and then they send like what kind of Cypher? Bill Cypher? Equals MC Square. Minecraft Square. So I head there and he's like, yeah, we can practice. Smile. While oh my god. I go out and play around in a random cave and run into Mirror B. This guy doesn't do much in this game, honestly. Okay. I just want to make sure you know he exists and listen to his music. Kind of goes with the battle in a way, Ludicolo. <laughs> but the I go check on Ned again. Pizza. Cipher's bust and beat everyone up and kidnapped another. Oh jeez. Have you guys min maxed how to kidnap people or something? You're two for two at this point and are scarily efficient at it. They mm. tried a hostage situation the data rom back and even though I beat oh. up this big man and take all his shadow Pokemon, <laughs> Ned still wusses out and gives the rom back. He wow. He's being two steps ahead because he saved all the information no. on his server already. Oh god, but that, those eyes. Cipher just logs on and deletes everything anyway. Hmm. Ned says the only thing he remembers from the ROM was that Cypher was behind the disappearance of the SS Libra, and they're oh. about to attack this city nearby called Fennec, and Fennec? needs to go warn them. I guess I'm just <laughs> Mr. Scooter across the desert and save everyone. Today, yep, aren't pretty I? much. I to Fennec to warn the mayor about the attack, and as soon as I arrive, this lady hits me with a confetti cannon, congratulates me on being the millionth visitor to the city, and shoes me away to celebrate at real gam tower i try to get around her because this is important but she's determined to gatekeep me no matter what i do so i just go there and realize she literally sent a child to illegally gamble his life away wow no, no one in this region likes children do that really not, not at all to figure out how to play bingo i head back sneak into the mayor's Damn. house, house <laughs> jump with music and find out the mayor was trying to write a note to Justy, the city's gym leader, warning him hmm. about the cyber attack. I don't know why the mayor was trying to ask this random gym guy to help. But <laughs> wow, who are you talking about? Random. So it doesn't matter. Cypher realizes I now know what's up, and everyone in town reveals themselves to be disguised cypher grunts. Oh. oh my god, they kidnapped the entire even the butterfly. What kind of organization you're from? If you can successfully kidnap a village. 
You've earned my respect. I beat wow. her to rescue their shadow Pokemon and free literally everyone in the town who is locked in the city basement. Justy says hmm. he saw something suspicious going on in the desert and points to another random sand spot on my map. I okay. Honestly, how are all these people just stumbling on yeah, these really. shenanigans in the middle of the desert? And why are they able to give the latitude longitude of these locations? Yeah, really. How exactly? This has got to be like tens of miles out from any sort of civilization. Yeah. This is where people run out of gas in their car and then shrivel up and die before Oh my die. god. That... Why were you here? <laughs> wow. Yep, that's the cargo ship. Oh, wow. How did you find this? Right. <laughs> How did you find this? It's crawling about this desert. That crime and vigilante justice is constantly going on in every square inch of this place. Cypher is running around on the ship, and after I take their shadow Pokemon, oh my god, them out, this group of strangers calling themselves Team Snagum walks up and groupies me. I wake oh up god. and realize they stole my snag machine. This random uh. man who just started living in the wrecked boat said he saw them head off in that direction and points to the middle of nowhere on my map again. You people are beyond me. I yeah, really. In, wow, another headquarters for crime. I make my hmm. way to their head honcho, Gonzap, who's trying to put on my snag machine, but he's too big and muscular and adult. And since yeah. I am a child, it does not fit on his nope. muscle arm. Nope. <laughs> Come he on. He much gives up, asks if I want to join Team Snagum. I say yes, but he fights me anyway. And wow, what a dick. Like, Actually, you can have your arm thing back. <laughs> here you happens. go. Awesome. So why am I here? Yeah, Run, why? Stole my stuff and then just called friendship and gave it back. Yeah, I really. Shadow Pokemon Factory and walk up to the actual biggest oh my God. I've ever seen in the world. How naive I was to think Zook was big. <laughs> Foolish me. Anyway, they're about to beat me TF up when Gonzap shows <laughs> up, expresses his devotion to our newly blossoming friendship, and rubies them for me. Oh, wow. Thanks. Thanks, man. You're yeah, thanks. really consistent at that. I yeah, really. I climb to the roof where their power generator is. There's a tiny little piece of paper there mm. that says, Use system lever to adjust voltage. Do not raise voltage too high. <coughs> Crank. A guy comes out and starts yelling at me with his Pokemon when the tiny old man who accidentally ruined my life in Gadian Court comes on screen and is like, I'm evil. And oh, my God. A Pokemon that's unpurified. Uh. Don't get me. This is my IP address. Oh my I god, man. The ocean to get to him because he's basically on evil Hawaii. So I take this Robo Kyogre from Kaminko, speedboat my way okay. there, and you guessed it, fight everyone in the building slash hmm. volcano until I get to the big little man. After fighting an entire country's worth of people, I find him. His name's Greevil, by the way. Greevil? Like, I'm surprised you made it this far. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 Well, I'm busy. Don't bother me. And wow. And he me with a giant pane of glass. Honestly, wow. out of all the fictional villains I've seen, this is surprisingly decently reasonable. But I'm not gonna <laughs> He's just, just on a switch. Stare at him behind the glass like a goldfish at PetSmart. Oh, so I just aww, wow. The side door, which really sets him off. <gasps> I mean, dude, either lock the door or don't have it. This yeah, is really. Uh huh. It's like you blew up our shadow Pokemon factory. You got past my glass. That's it. I'm summoning Shadow Lugia, the first oh, God. one to ever be unpurifiable. Come forth and obliterate this small boy. Oh, wow. I just master ball it. Really overlooked that one, didn't you, mate? Yeah. It may not be purified, but it's fine. Huge. Uh, <laughs> the SpongeBob. So beyond pissed that he decides to open his creepy eyes and fight me himself. Damn, and those eyes. I'm surprised to realize not only does he have a team of all Shadow Pokemon, but he somehow nabbed Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. What? I'll be honest, it was Damn. a really, really hard fight. I'm sure. Shadow Pokemon are super effective against all non-Shadow Pokemon. I don't know how it took me this long to tell you that, but that's how it works. Oh. So instead of trying to catch them all like I've been doing this whole time, I really just beat them up and they ran away. So hmm. I win. Cypher has officially lost everything, and it's all because of me. The little boy. The little boy <laughs> runs up to Grievel and is like, Sir, I have a plan. What's the plan? Let's blow up the island with the kid on it. Wow. He's like, oh my god. And then Red Henchman is like, okay, that's a bit too far, man. Yeah, that is. Dad, let's go home. Yeah, they pulled the I'm your father slash son twist on us. Okay. But it has very little effect on me because yeah. I do not care about these people. Anyway, yeah, same. And decide to not blow up the island with me on it and stop being evil, I think. I'm like six Maybe. Sure. And then, oh my god. I just go home. Yeah. So what do you think? 
For some reason, I really liked the game as a kid. I never actually beat it because I didn't know how to get past the gatekeeping woman in Fennec. Uh-uh. 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 To mention how lively the animations are in this game. Okay. Sure, some of the Pokemon look god awful. They gave Houndor human knees that bent forward, but they're oh. all so expressive and show so much care and personality. It may be pretty. Doesn't really look like that bad of a game, actually. Passion, but I guess that's just what makes these games more cherishable. Mm. Anyway, the game was fun and weird. I liked it. It seems. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> See hey, ya. Uh, it's been a while. Anyway. A little bit. It is interesting. Same. Same, actually. Honestly, that was really cool. I actually really enjoyed that a lot. But yeah. Otherwise, thanks everybody for checking this out. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications to miss out on any new videos. Thanks for the support as always. Besides that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.